Hi, this is Brownie Stitch Love. Actually, you can call me Amanda. And I wanted to introduce myself to the Floss Tube world and say hi. Um, I finally am doing a video. I know that YouTube is flooded right now with cross stitch videos, so maybe somebody will get to watch this. But I want y'all to know who's been stalking you all these months. I have been watching Floss Tube since January. And it is June, so apparently it's the J's that um, have hooked me together. So, I wanted to let you know how much I enjoy Floss Tube, the videos. Um, I thought, not saying that cross stitch is a dying art, but I don't know a lot of cross stitchers. And it wasn't until a very lovely, dear, relative, close friend of mine introduced me to cross stitch. Um, all cross stitch is fun, cross stitch in disguise, sports books, um, frosted pumpkin, all those online Facebook groups. It wasn't until I realized that, yay, it's not a dying art, and there's not just a few of us that's cross stitching. There's actually tons of us out there. We're just spread out. So, um, since January, I have been um, wanting to to do a YouTube video. So, here I am. Um, so I figured I would do, I'm free situating in my chair because I am videoing with my cell phone, so I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Back to, yeah, kids, it's drinking in the background. Um, so I figured I would do kind of a mishmash of know your needle marker tag, what tile style stitcher are you, kind of a get to know you session, um, so I can say hi, and then... I am doing this on my cell phone because our video cameras are all dead, so I'll figure that out shortly. Um, I figured I would go ahead and do all this video now, A, while my husband's outside, and B, while my kids are occupied, and while my youngest is taking a nap, get, go to the other side, go to the other side, please. I'm not ready to introduce my kiddos to YouTube yet. Dogs, yes, because, you know, gent dogs are generalized, but uh, kids on YouTube, you never know. Um, so, to kind of answer, I you know your need a worker tag, I figured I would do some questions, answer some questions. So, here we go. Where are you from? I live in Alabama, in northern Alabama, not close to the beach, sadly, sadly but close to the lake. I'm not a fisherman. My husband likes to fish. I don't swim in the lake. Just just don't do it. I'd much rather swim in the pool. Um, I'd like to see what's at my feet. Um, I've heard too many horror stories about people swimming and have little water moccasins coming upside them. I won't need to swim after that. I'll probably soil myself and probably have a nice little heart attack in the water that will finish me off and scare me in the snake. Don't do well with snakes. Um, Let's see. Next question. Um, what is your name? My name's Amanda. I think I told you that. Are you married? I'm married. I have um, been married for 13 years. Um, met and fell in love with my husband. And we got married 7 months and 17 days after our first date. Now, not a lot of people are proud of that. And it's really, really strange because he was not my first marriage. Yeah, I'm blunt. I'm going to tell you guys that. And that's him mowing, so I'm gonna try to do this quickly so the background doesn't doesn't uh, mess up. Um, that's another day, another story. If anybody got any questions about that, I'll be glad to tell you the story about that. Um, it is it's a preaching story, but it, but it is a good story, and I recommend um, a nice chit chat sit down with anyone who's contemplating marriage and just emotions. Be glad to sit and talk with them about that. Um, that's too personal, isn't it? Sorry. Sorry. Um, do I work outside of the home? What do I do? I work with a school system in the federal programs, and I assist students who need assistance with school supplies or clothing or a place to stay. Um, don't give them a place to stay, but kind of can help them with residential housing, things like that, which entails another thing about me. I finally, at the age of 40, want to know what I'm going to do. I decided one day that since Social Security said I would probably be working until I was 70, I might as well do something that I want to do for the rest of my life since i got to do it for 30 more years. Bah ha ha. So, I decided to go back to school. And I am enrolled in a university. 
online, and it's a local university. It's not a far off university. I mean, like, the university is 30 minutes from my house, and I can go and see my counselors and purchase my books in the bookstore and actually support my team. So, um, really excited about that. But um, I take a few online classes, a few campus classes, and that's hectic. Um, next thing, do you have any kids? I think I told you, I don't know if I did or not, four four kids. I have one biological child and three adoptive kids. We went from, oh sorry buddy, come here. We went from one child, come here, come here. sorry, he's my next child. We went from, yes he has a parrot mouth, we went from one child uh, to four kids overnight basically because my husband and I did foster adoptive parenting. Which, <laughs> you're going to answer the next question, aren't you, bub? And that look at that tongue. Uh, he does that all the time. Uh, is my next question, do you have any pets? Uh, yes, we have four dogs. We have a basset hound that stays outside. We have a standard dachshund by the name of Brownie that stays inside with us. And she is like, how old is Brownie? Eight? No, she just turned nine. Nine. And then we have Vladimir here, and he goes by Laddie. And uh, if you want to look for me in the house, you got to find this dude because he's going to stay with me. My husband calls him my little bodyguard. He made fun of him because he has long hair, um, and he is a miniature dachshund. And we really don't know how old he is. He was actually a, a friend of mine that I used to work with. He needed a home. Brownie was the same situation. I love dachshunds. They kind of have my heart. And so, look at you holding Mama's hand. Look at you. Huh, rotten. Um, Brownie needed a home, and so I went straight and got her, and my husband didn't have to ask me if I was going to do it because he knew that I would because I've just been a sucker for dots, and she's like my, you're like my sixth or sixth, I think they're sixth and seventh dot, fifth and sixth dotsies. I'm a dotsie mama. Just love them. And then we have a Chihuahua, Bella, who is in and out, and she's about eight or nine years old. So, yeah, you know, we got some older ones in the house, and we and we love them, and they're family. Um, my kids' ages, um, it's three boys and one girl. Boys are eleven, eight, and six, and the girl is nine. And um, and I have some divas in the house, but you would it's not the boy, it's not the girls, it's the boys. So that's hard to hard to believe. You're, you're, you're wiggling here. You ready to get down? Is that what you want to do? And so my helper here is losing interest. He's wanting to. He's got to always see what I'm doing. Um, how long have you been cross stitching? I graduated high school in 1992. A friend of mine, her aunt, had a cross stitch shop, and I did. Um, I did get into kind of cross stitch then. Um, I did my first project there. It was a cow. I hated it. I hated it. I just wanted those little 90 like now they're like the well back then they were like fifty or seventy five cents, but I think now they're like four dollar like three dollar snippet kits um, that I got at Old America Craft Store, which was in Alabama at the time. It was a chain store. And um, that's where I got some of my first cross stitch stuff in addition to her cross stitch store. And, um, and I learned a cross stitch, but I didn't finish it because I kind of lost interest in the project. So I actually jumped in and did a bigger project that was like five by seven. And I actually finished it pretty, pretty quick, which is really cool. And, I'll, and it's, um, it's two little ducks. I'll have to get that out and show you. Isn't it funny? I've never framed it. But now the, the cow, I went back a couple of years later and finished it. So who, who knows? Um, let's see. Other hobbies. Knit would love to crochet. For some reason, I can't figure the wrist thing out. Um, I can somewhat sew, somewhat sew if I need to. Um, my challenge was to learn to sew enough that if my daughter needed a costume, I could do it. So, so far, my mom won't let me try that, but I can do a straight stitch. I can make pillowcases and table runners. And believe it or not, I did a, I did a, a Q snap grime guard. Uh, so from uh, Trisha, the left-handed stitcher. So thank you, Trisha. So if you see this video because of you, you know, you, you walk me through that. <laughs> and yes, I watched your YouTube video like for an hour and a half to make sure that I got every step perfect. My next project for sewing will be the grime guards for the scroll frames. And when you see my, um, when you see my project, 
when you see my whips, I'll show you the Grime Garden that I ordered. And I got it off of eBay, and I'll try to remember, I'll try to look up the name of the store. Um, it's really great, but I want to figure out how to make them too because I've got several scroll frames because they're turning out to be my favorite thing. This is some of my bigger projects, but I'm rambling. Let's see. So we said knit, crochet, scrapbook. I do love a scrapbook, and I do have a Cricut, and he's the devil because you just want to keep doing stuff like that. So cross stitch is, is, is my most habitual love, but there's there's other things that I love too. You're wiggling. You're wiggling, buddy. You're wiggling. So let's see. What else? Um, what else do I do? Work outside the home. Have four kids. Cook. Eh, I can. Um, this, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I love roosters. Really? Really, really, really? <sighs> I have a kid farm. And every one of them is trying to stick their heads in the video because I think they have, would you get adult jealousy? Um, but I wanted to say, hey, um, serial starter. No, I'm not. This is boring. Apparently it's boring to him. I'm not a serial starter. Um, I think I have like six or seven whips right now. I am thinking about doing Stitch Mania next year and actually looking at, I think that it might actually kickstart my booty into opening some of this stash that I've hoarded all these years. We'll see. Um, do I hoard? Do I buy as needed or hoard? I hoard. Um, and you'll, you'll see what I've, I'm sorry. I just come across a big deal and it's, Definitely a cross stitch book that I don't have or something that I might be interested in doing. I will buy it. And then, you know, not if it's brand new, but you know. And then, and my dad said, um, my sweet grandmother, I inherited this habit from her. And, um, look at your tongue. How funny. My dad said that as long as I was alive, my grandmother would never die. Because when my grandmother died, um, Died very suddenly, and we had to cancel her order from Hershner's. And they actually sent us a sympathy card, and we laughed about it because they sent us an invoice that was credited back to her credit card, and it was for four hundred dollars, and it was for silk floss, and that was like, gosh, thirteen years ago. So, silk floss and stamp patterns and some applique quilted patterns. So, we <laughs> we laugh about that now, but my daddy says as long as I'm alive, she'll never die. So, yes, I'm a hoarder. Uh, love needle minders. For some reason, I have a obsession with needle minders and scissors. Um, stitching accessories, if I can buy it, I'll get it. Um, I'm not a gadgety person. I have some favorite things that I like. But um, if I can figure out how to make it, I, I, I'm just that way, too. And I ended up marrying somebody very similar to me. And um, on my next stash video, you'll... On my upcoming stash video, you'll see what I mean when I married someone who, if you if you can see it, if you can figure out how to make it, you can make it. But um, I wanted to say hi, and there goes the third one. Really? Stop. Stop right there. Stop. Stop right there. Okay? Yeah. Just think, there's one more that's asleep. Scary, huh? Um, wanted to say hi. Nice to meet you. And I cannot wait to... Um, meet everybody and chit chat back and forth um if you like me please subscribe because um if my kids will let me i plan on continue doing this and as long as uh laddie here will let me maybe i can do a video without him in my arms so from amanda and uh brownie stitch love and laddie the talking dachshund we say